Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Heidi from My Reading Life and I'm here today to film my June TBR check-in and book haul. So, um, June is a week behind us already. It's already July the 7th, but I just had time finally to sit down and film this video. So let's just get to it. There will be um, some vlog footage, footage at the end of this video and I will explain why that is in a minute. All right, so let's look at the balance sheet, shall we? So I read a total of 15 books in the month of June. Eight of them were off my shelf. Six of them were brought in brand new. No unhauls, which leaves me a minus two for the month and brings my total TBR down to 129. Um, so still going in the right direction. Did very well in the month of June. Eight books read off the shelf one of which was from the ancient TBR, this pile right here that was Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood, and then the rest were just other books off my TBR. So I think eight read off the shelves was great for that month, considering I'm doing books through prize reading and that sort of thing, along with everything else. Um, and only six came in to my house. So let's talk about those six first. The very first thing that came into my house was this enormous box set of Abraham Lincoln, A Life. This is a two volume biography of Lincoln. This was kindly sent to me by Sean the Book Maniac all the way from Japan. Can you believe it? Sean knows that I enjoy reading presidential biographies and that I have a presidential reading challenge. Um, so he very kindly surprised me with this gift all the way from Japan. Um, and I was just blown away. I was blown away by his thoughtfulness. This two volume set is written by Michael Burlingame and it is published by John Hopkins Press. Now, let me see if I can get these out so that I can show you. This is the volume, what it looks like, the first volume. Um, a lot of text in here. This is not the type of biography that has pictures in it. This is, uh, let's see, this first volume is over 700 pages of text, like 760 pages of text in volume one. And then volume two is just as large, if not larger. And this one is let me see how many pages. This one is over 800 pages of text. This one is 840 pages of text. So there you go. There's the definitive two volume biography of Abraham Lincoln. Thank you so much, Sean. I am thrilled, beyond thrilled to have this in my collection. Um, I have read Abraham Lincoln biographies, uh, in the past because I'm already on Theodore Roosevelt for the reading challenge, but I will gladly go back and read this two volume set of Abraham Lincoln as well. So that was the first thing that came in in the month of June. And then at my local grocery store, there is a, like a used book shelf that the Lions Club sells used books on for a dollar a piece. So I found on that shelf, two volumes in the science fiction uh, series by Sharon Lee and Steve Miller, who are main authors. And these are set in the Leaden universe. This is Constellation, volume two, um, which is, I believe, a collection of short stories that are all set in that universe, that science fictional universe. Um, let me just try to get to the yeah this is a uh, short short story science fiction based in the Le Leaden universe and then this is the tomorrow log which is also an adventure in, from the Leaden universe I love all of the books that they have written set in that world this one was first published in 2002 and this one was published in 2014 this collection came out but of course the short stories were published you know throughout the last couple of decades so I am very much looking forward to diving into those and continuing my reading um I think I have one yep dragon ship right here on the TBR and so these will go with that and eventually I will have the whole series collected especially if I can continue to find them in for a dollar a piece at used book sales like that 
And then I, the only book that I bought and read in the same month, this month, was Bee Tree by Emily Henry. Um, I, at the beginning of the month, I read Book Lovers by Emily Henry. And, I mean, I just fell in love with that book. Uh, I read that with my buddy reading group, Doris and Katie, and we all just enjoyed that one tremendously. I had never read anything by Emily Henry before, so I immediately purchased Bee Tree and read that at the end of the month and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this one as well. Um, I didn't like it as well as Book Lovers. I think that one is my favorite, but this one was also an extremely enjoyable read. Two authors, one a romance writer, one a literary fiction writer, and they, um, you know, swap places as it were. Really fun. And then the last two books I picked up uh, for the Book Naturalist Book Club, which, um, you know, is our monthly reading about science, uh, nature nonfiction. And so for the month of July, our pick is Thin Places. And we will be reading this for Book Naturalist in the month of July. I still have not remembered to look up this woman's name, Carrie. I will look it up, I promise you. And um, I love this cover with this wing on it. It's so pretty. Um, this will be July's read for Book Naturalist. And then later on in the year, I don't remember off the top of my head which month, we will be reading In the Shadow of Man by Jane Goodall, um, which she is the famous scientist who studied chimpanzees and apes in um, Africa. So I have never read anything by Jane Goodall. Very much looking forward to learning more about her work. So that's that's the stuff that I brought in in the month of June. Um, six books total, so that is great. Uh, I feel really good about my progress there. Um, making no promises for the rest of the year, but we seem to be headed in the right direction, which is fabulous. So I am gonna close this part of the video now, but I will leave some vlog footage here at the end of the video from the 4th of July holiday weekend. Um, we have a small town parade in the town that I live in and I have to show you the library's entry into the parade. So we have a small public library uh, that's the town library. It's run by volunteers. It's really awesome. And for the parade, they had like eight ladies, volunteers at, who work at the library, each of whom pushed a little red library cart and they did little um, choreographed uh, movements in the parade route with their little library carts. And it was the most adorable thing I've ever seen and just could, couldn't pass up the opportunity to share with you a little reading related aspect of a 4th of July parade in small town, Maine. Um, there will also be some fireworks footage at the end just for fun to close it out. So hope you enjoy, hope you're all doing well and finding some great books to read and I will talk to you later.